You're watching ABC4 News with Courtney Johns and Thomas Geboy. Welcome back. People across the country, including right here in Utah, mark today as Indigenous Peoples Day. It's a time where we reflect upon and honor the contributions of Native Americans to our society. And joining us today is Eden Pope. She is a first year medical student at Norda College of Osteopathic Medicine in Provo, and she wants to apply the health and wellness traditions of her Cherokee heritage to modern medicine. Thank you so much for joining us today. Of course, happy to be here. We are so excited to have you here as well. Tell us what got you into medicine. That's such a load of question. I wish I'm sure. I, yeah, I wish I could give you a clear answer. Uh -huh. um, but I feel like it was an accumulation of things over time. I really enjoy helping people, to be completely honest, and just kind of different experiences throughout my life and my childhood led me to really want to be able to aid people in their overall health and wellness by, you know, really just taking every area of your life and making it better. Having a holistic approach, essentially. Yes, that's very important to I, me. I love that. And we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Native American medicine. Mm -hmm. Do you have some examples of what that looks like? It, yeah, absolutely. So the biggest thing that you know Native American wellness focuses on is natural medicine. And I think that's something that we've really missed a lot in mm -hmm. the Western culture. And it's kind of been tossed to the side, and I don't necessarily think that it should be. Because, you know, Native Americans they've really done an amazing job of being able to use the Earth's natural medicinal resources as a way to aid in your well-being as well as focusing on the spirit. And that's how it all ties in to the school that I'm attending is we really focus on mind, body, spirit as a whole. Mm -hmm. And so I just really appreciate how the Native American principles really influenced my decision to attend a school like this, you know, where we really focus on all aspects of health. You mentioned how uh, modern medicine to a certain extent kind of tossed a lot of those traditions aside. Why do you think that happened? I think over time there's been some bad raps, you could say. Um, in the past of things not being evidence-based. Mm -hmm. And so as we go into modern medicine, we see everything is based on science, right? Oh, this drug does this, so you should take it. Mm -hmm. You know, but sometimes I think we skip over a lot of things that we could maybe start with that could, you know, help you first. You know, mm -hmm. there's a time and place for modern medicine, absolutely. There's so many advancements in cancer research and chemotherapy and things like that that are so needed and they're so amazing, but it doesn't hurt to look at the natural ways that we can make you feel better. And to be honest, Western medicine really doesn't take the approach of, let's look at you as a whole being. Mm -hmm. How can we fix you as a person instead of just focusing on your disease? And I mean, that's a, that's a big part of your study. For people who don't know what it is, what is osteopathic medicine? So thank you for asking, because I think there's a big misconception there. So a doctor of osteopathic medicine is the exact same level as an MD, which most people know is medical doctor. Mm -hmm. um, and the biggest difference is, kind of like I mentioned previously, a medical doctor focuses on just let's treat the disease, where osteopathic medicine focuses on let's treat the overall person. Mm -hmm. And actually, a lot of people don't know this. The man who founded osteopathic medicine, A.T. Still, he said one of the biggest influences in his you know, desire to create this new type of school was because he lived with the Shawnee Native American tribes in the Midwest for a really long time. Hmm. And he said that he was really influenced by their natural use of the Earth's resources um, and the way they practiced. And I know we're, we're running out of time, and I know we talked about loaded questions, but I do want to ask you one more before we go. Uh, what does Indigenous Peoples Day mean to you? To me, Indigenous Peoples Day means that we're taking a step in the right direction. We're being more honest and transparent about our past, and that's a very important principle that applies to a lot of things in life. Remembering your past to have a better future. Yes, Eden, absolutely. Eden, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, thank you for having me.